By the end of this video, you'll learn what heart rate variability is and why you should be tracking it if you're coping with depression, anxiety, or stress. How's it going guys? It's Chris from HealthyConsumer.com, back with another episode of Mental Health Mondays. Mental Health Mondays are where we discuss depression, anxiety, stress, and everything related to those topics. So if that sounds like something that interests you, subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video. So in this video, I'd like to talk to you briefly about what heart rate variability is, why it's important, and then I'm gonna show you an app on my phone that I'm using to track my heart rate variability so I know that I'm making progress in treating my depression and anxiety and where those little hiccups are so I can get back on track. In simple terms, heart rate variability is the space between two beats of the heart. And there should be variation between the two. The heart is not meant to be like a ticking clock always on the exact same beat at the same time. It's more of a pump that has little variations in a healthy body because it's a reflection of a robust autonomic nervous system, which is that fight or flight or rest and digest. So like you're running away from a tiger, your heart rate's increasing, you're getting ready to run or to fight or rest and digest, heart rate's decreasing. And you can see this when you take a breath in. When you take a breath in, your heart rate will increase slightly. As you take a breath out, the heart rate will decrease slowly. And as far back as the 1970s, we used to think that the heart was a clock, it was just always staying on there. But now we know a higher heart rate variability, so a little more space between each of these beats demonstrates a healthy nervous system, so your body is responding to stressors well. Not that you need to know a lot about EKGs, but this is the space that it looks like here. We're talking about two of the R waves, that interbeat interval, that space in between there is going to vary by milliseconds, and that little variation shows a healthy nervous system. We know now in certain disease states, whether it's more on the cardiac side, like congestive heart failure, or even depression and anxiety, you're going to have a lower heart rate variability, and that's going to put you more at risk for mortality, especially for those that have a heart attack. So what good is this information? Well, it's a great litmus test that you can use to see how you're responding to stressors in your day, how your body's responding to exercise, when you should push it, when you shouldn't push it. Is your meditations working? Are these different things that you're doing to better manage your anxiety or depression or stress having a positive or a negative effect on your nervous system. It's a lot more specific than say blood pressure or heart rate. Not that it's not good to know those as well. It certainly is. I would encourage you to measure those. But this gives us a better idea of how your body is able to get out of that fight or flight and get into that rest and digest the parasympathetic nervous system. Tracking heart rate variability used to be an incredibly costly endeavor, but now you can do it on your smartphone because the cameras have got so precise, they can track this as accurately as a chest strap. So I have an app that I'm going to show you called HRV for training. If I do have an affiliate link in the description below, I highly encourage you to use that. It's no extra cost to you. And it just gives me a little kickback for showing you this app and how it can apply to your stress, depression, and anxiety. So this is HRV for training, the app that I was talking about. And I've been using this for a little over a week now, and I'm going to continue to use it and update you guys on my progress and see what's working and what's not working. Every morning I wake up, I hit the measure heart rate variability button. Your heart rate variability itself will be calculated in this app by placing your finger over the flash and the camera at the same time. As I place my finger over the camera, it's going to start to calculate my heart rate and also start to calculate the heart rate variability. Now, this is not going to be accurate because I've been talking and running around, so usually my heart rate's resting right around 60 beats per minute, which is even high for me, but I think the stress has been high lately. So it will do that for, I set it for three minutes, which is the time that he recommended. You can do a minute spot check. You want to get a pretty uniform wave pattern there so it's not jumpy all over the place, but me talking is probably throwing that off. And you'll start to track that historically. You'll start to see over a period of time some of your values. You can look at your heart rate for that day. You can see Sunday today for me was, I just woke up feeling a little more stressed and my heart rate was up a little bit upon waking. If you want to, you can compare yourself to larger populations. Now, 
you can see that for me, I'm kind of more towards the bottom. I'm below the 50th percentile for that, but I haven't been able to do a lot of cardiac exercise lately because of my injuries. So I highly recommend this app as a way of getting a little more data into tracking your heart rate variability so you know how your body is responding to stress. This has been another episode of Mental Health Mondays. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another episode. And I look forward to seeing you guys next Monday.